Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for Feeding Frenzy. <clears throat> What's the angle? Congratulations, fish upgrade. Meet Eddie, the angler. His small fins make him a little slower. But that's the literal opposite of an upgrade. He's slower. Well, I guess slower than the fish we just had, but faster than the default fish. Eh. Okay. But he's got a big bite. Don't forget to right-click to suck in schools of fish. New power-up. Pick up the Fury Bubble and go nuts. You'll zip around the screen, eating everything in sight. Ooh, we're in a cave. <clears throat> huh. So these guys got smaller and they changed color. So, how are all of you guys doing today? You guys doing good? I hope so. Hope everybody is doing very, very well. Eat these weird fish with mustache. What the what, what the freak is that? Okay, we're going to stay away from that thing. As I swim right into one. So I guess now we have a, <clears throat> we have a larger hitbox than before. Ah, oh, shoot. You gotta be careful with that suck power, because you'll suck in the bigger fish as well. So use it at your own risk. Alright, we're almost to big size. So, I'm sure most of you know what today is. Today is Cinco de Mayo. Which means, at my place of work, Burrito Horn, it's going to be very, very busy. So I'm a little worried, but I think we got it. And we still got Barracudas. You've earned the rank of Persistent Predator. In the 1750s, the Swedish nationalist Linus made the first round cultured pearls. Wait. I already read that. Nobody makes me read twice and gets away with it. I'll find you. Tricky treasure. The oysters in this part of the reef don't stay open very long. If you're trying to steal their precious treasure, you'll have to move fast. Black pearls. The mysterious black pearl is five times more valuable the white one. That will help you grow up pretty quickly. Oh, you guys got nothing. You hyped, you hyped it up for nothing. Ooh, a purple fish. <laughs> I almost got crushed. Oh, they're already introducing both the big fish. Big and bigger. So we got purple fish and we got white fish. Ooh, gold. Ooh, get a tail bonus. Yeah, you, come here. No. I guess you could say I won the battle, but lost the war. So anyway, a little worried about today being busy. But I think we can do it. Well, I guess you don't get the pearl when you go nuts. Now, in my opinion... I think there's too many apps nowadays for restaurants. You know, you got an app for McDonald's, you got an app for Burger King, for Taco Bell, for... Everybody has an app now. And there's deals that are only exclusive on the apps. It's like, it's too much. Just lower the prices. Well, that's, that's never going to happen, though. Ooh. Well, this is an old game. It doesn't work anymore. Huh, <laughs> Nice. Greedy Gobbler. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've already read all these fun facts. Six degrees. 
The ocean seems to be getting more crowded these days, and these mines don't help one bit. Be careful out there. The suck ability is especially helpful for Eddie because he's slow. Park yourself near a tasty school of fish, then take a deep breath. Oh, there's little lionfish. They're cute. They're so cute. No, it's adorable. I just realized we're in a cave. Which is pretty cool. It's a neat backdrop. Oh, um... I was gonna say something, and then I forgot what it was. So basically, in my opinion, too many restaurant apps. They need to, like, clear out the clutter. Alright, where's those mustache fish? Alright, I'm gonna stay away from the top. Those two guys are stalking it. Oh, one of them got blown up. <laughs> Snag the pearl. Alright, how are their mines dropping in a cave? Like, how do you get those in there? Because they're falling straight down. You know, I'm not going to think too hard about it. Because the, the more you do, you're just going to be left with more questions. Ow, I got stung. Oh, it's the first time we've seen you. Still greedy gobbler. When inflated, a puffer fish's stomach increases to nearly 100 times its original volume. Okay, that I did not know. A shell game. Each oyster has exactly one pearl. Can you collect them all without getting chomped before time runs out? Don't forget the speed boost. Perfect place to use your speed boost. Get in, get out, nobody gets hurt. Well, that didn't take long. And I didn't run out of time. I freaking died. Get it right. Say, got chomped, got clamped. Cheeks clapped. Deep water dreams, a chance encounter. What's this? You've lost your way and you've stumbled into really deep waters. Can you find your way back? It's pretty scary out here. Tail credit. Don't forget you can bite the tails of some pretty big fish. When you see the hazard sign, get ready to snack. Whoa, I am tiny. I am really tiny. Everything's tiny. Holy schnockers. Oh my god, a whale. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I got the whale just ate a shark. I mean, I guess that happens in real life. I'm just... Oh, I thought I died, but I didn't, and then I died for real. Okay, we'll just... Oh, there's, there's a ton of them. I guess we'll just not do that for a while. How did we get here, and why are there teal fish... Eddie, what have you done? You just had to stay in the cave. All you had to do was stay in the damn cave, Eddie. It's going to take forever to fill this bar up. There we go. Get nice suckage. Just gotta thread the needle here. Just gotta loop to loop and pull and not get eaten. Come here, you little fishies. Now, most of the time, you wanna try to stay away from the edges of the screen because people pop out of there and they eat you. And then you gotta start over. Alright, we're a little less vulnerable now. I would still be careful, though. There's a lot of people here. There's a lot of people here that want to eat me. You, come here. 
Oh, I didn't think he would actually chase me. I thought I was just going to go in a straight line. Well, that's what I get for assuming. Alright, just keep eating fast so you get those frenzy points. Okay, I'm going to do it once and then run away. There we go. Now we can eat the teal fish. This is probably the hardest level we've done so far. Now, the main thing about working a register is it's pretty straightforward, like, once you memorize where all the buttons are and stuff, it becomes kind of second nature. The problem is, when you get to, like, the weekends, it gets very busy and it gets very fast. So then, before you know it, you're backed up four orders, and you've got two bags on the counter. Well, that was a hard level. I don't know what a parrotfish is, but when parrotfish sleep, they cover themselves in a protective mucus that keeps other fish from smelling them. Whatever works, I guess. Surgeon crossing. Is there a doctor in the house? You've reached a surgeon fish, fish crossing. Swim carefully until you're big enough for a yummy surgeon fish feast. Overcharging the surgeons. Be especially careful when you're near a predator that's feeding on smaller fish. They tend to speed up when they're lunging for the kill. Okay, so now it's just Frogger. Alright. Or Crossy Road. Alright, just focus on the Redfish. I don't think we're going to be getting any frenzies. We're not really going to be able to eat quickly. The piers, I went right in his mouth. Well, that didn't really do much. I feel like I'm kind of diffusing a bomb, but like I gotta be real careful and I gotta plan everything. Alright, now we're, now we can eat the purple fish. See, that's the main thing when you're working in food, you just gotta be careful when it gets real busy, because then it just... Well, then you get eaten. That's what happens. The key thing is trying to split your attention between the speaker and the window. So when it gets real busy, I kind of alternate. Like, help the person at the speaker, then the window, and then just keep switching back and forth. The only exception, if there's a bag on the counter and they already paid for it, just take a few seconds and then get that bag out. And then continue doing what you were doing. Oh, now they want to run away. A lot of barracudas here. Stage clear. Many brightly colored reef fish have poisonous skin, flesh, or eggs. The poison comes from the toxic algae that is their main source of food. Melting Pot, one big happy ecosystem. You're passing through one of the busiest sections of the reef. 
There's a lot going on here, so watch where you're going or, or you'll end up as fish food. New power-up. Pick up a shield bubble to give yourself a protective coating. If you get chomped, you will lose the coating, but escape unscathed. Hmm, so like a get-out-of-jail-free card, basically. I see. I really wanted that Black Pearl. Now, if I take the Black Pearl in 30 years, Davy Jones is going to come for me. So maybe it's not the best idea. So we got surgeons and we got mustache fish. Oh, I, I got eaten, but I... And you can stack shields as well. You can have more than one shield at a time. Wait, will it protect me from blowing up? Oh, well, someone else hit it for me. Oh, I guess it does. I'm invincible. You cannot kill me. Oop, and I got a speed bonus. Everything I see, I shall devour. Ooh, mermaid. Alright, what do we got? Now I'm a Flounder Pounder. Okay, his names are getting pretty subjective. A single female oyster produces more than 150 million eggs. The fertilized eggs start to swim and keep moving for about 21 days. Playing Chicken. This area is filled with good stuff to eat, but it's also crawling with poisonous mutants and deadly barracuda. Ah, oh, so we got a bonus stage. So eat the fish, avoid the barracuda. And the poison minnows. Alright, we can do this. Especially when we got that power up. Alright, everybody, you gotta get in my mouth. We got plenty of time, we can do this. No, not you, I don't want you. Oh, we crushed that. And if you need help tying your bonus shoes, just ask your mommy or daddy or okay? Huh. Well, we beat that really fast. Hey, Slick. So I guess next time we're going to play as John Dory. Now, I still don't know what type of fish that is, but that's who we're going to be. Well, that's where we're going to end it for today. So, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And everybody, just do me a little favor. Have a great day.